Hey, what's going on, Weekend Warrior Lumberjacks? I'm gonna be taking down this pain in the butt popple. Already took down a larger one. Well, same size. This one might be a little bit bigger. Um, these popples are very dangerous if you get close to buildings, etc. I had one of them come down um, on my shed. Scared the crap out of me. Um, dented the roof on the house and put a large hole on the top of the shed. Basically, I had to remodel the entire shed. I'm surprised it stood standing. Broke the structure, the walls, um, even moved the floor of the shed. I also had another one come down in the dog yard, which was pretty scary. Grace's house saved her. I'll show you a picture of that. Um, I didn't think it was a threat because that popple was leaning the opposite way and the wind blew it uh, into the dog yard, which was crazy. It blew it the opposite way it was leaning and took it right down, snapped it off, smashed her house. Grace was fine. She did okay. She was a little bit spooked. It happened at night, so I put her in with some of the puppies in the puppy kennel and I made her a new house two days later. But she was okay, thank goodness. I'm not a professional lumberjack by any means. I've been heating, I've been living off the grid here for seven years and I heat with wood, so, um, you know, I know how to take wood down. I, I go through about six, seven cords a year. We got a brand new 362 here that I'm still on the first tank. I got a 261 that I do a lot of bucking with, but with this 25 inch bar, it's really nice. I don't have to bend over as far and break my back. Um, it's really nice when the wood is on the ground. It takes a little bit to get used to. It's very sharp, very powerful saw. So here's the monster we're gonna take down. I can't even tell how tall this tree is. I, uh, diameter on here is probably, well, let's get tape measure and measure it. Well, it's kind of hard to see, but going over the edge there a little bit. Coming back here, I think it's about 21 and a half, 22 inches. So fairly decent sized popple. When these trees get this old, they start rotting. In the middle, you can see the bottom here. It's it's superficial and it's tricky because the, the, the bark and the wood on the outside is still alive, still viable. That's what feeds the top. So these trees look like they're thriving, but they're actually rotting in the middle. You can see this one here on the bottom. So uh, the meat of the tree is gonna be on that backside there. Hopefully I can get it to fall the way I want it. So some things you want to consider um, when putting your tree where you want it is, you know, do you have any structures nearby? Um, other trees that might be impeding the fall. I see we got some little balsams and maybe a little maple there. I'm not too worried about if we take some branches off of it or knock it down. If you got structures nearby, I'd suggest uh, calling professionals and or getting yourself some help and tie a rope up top and pull it the way you want it because you do not want this thing going down on your house, on vehicles, anywhere near any structure or people. That is a monster tree and they go kaboom. So I'm going to clear out some of this little stuff here just so that I have some safety and uh, 
somewhere to move if I need to move the tree goes the opposite direction you want to make sure that you're working with the tree and the way that it's leaning it's hard to see here on the video but here I'll try to keep it level but you can see it's leaning to the left and backwards just a hair so I'm going to use that to my advantage trees this big unless you got a rope are not going to fall the opposite direction which you're cutting it's not even worth trying All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is make a wedge cut on the side I want it to fall, or the direction I want it to fall. I'm gonna cut here and here and leave this backside. I'm not gonna go all the way through because this is, that's completely rotten there. Uh, I'm hoping that this backside Doesn't look like there's any dead branches up there that could potentially fall. You gotta watch out for that. Pay attention to the way your wind is blowing. Today the wind is blowing in our favor, so. So I'll show you what I'm talking about here. You can see how rotten this tree was. The ants were even eating it. The only good meat was on this backside that was holding it up. That is a widow maker. Is what they call a widow maker. Get rid of them. These big popples, when they're over a foot in diameter, just get rid of them. They're a liability, and their wood is no good anymore. So, I'm gonna clear around this tree here, clear all the stuff on the sides, and then I'm gonna mark it. Uh, I cut my firewood into 18 inch lengths. So I'll mark it with the tape measure first, and then cut her up.
Bar oil is super expensive, so got my own little concoction here. I do 50% bar oil and 50% used engine oil. Thins it out a little bit. Um, you have to run your chain a little bit richer, but saves a lot of money and puts a use to that used motor oil. Oh, my God. 
you can see parts of the tree here I didn't cut all the way through um, I need to roll it and the reason why I didn't cut all the way through to the ground I cut as far as I possibly could but um, through experience there's tons of boulders and rocks and gravel around here so you nick one rock with your brand new sharp chain it's toast then you're stuck sharpening a chain for 20 minutes um, obviously you would have backup chains so I cut through not all the way um, if there's a gap or if the log is sitting on something yeah I'll cut it all the way through um, but it's best to look underneath or to cut you know seven eighths of the way through beware of your bar where your bar is going and then roll the log and then finish your cuts it's good to take your time um, this is a lot of work I'm sweating <laughs> they say it warms you twice but I say it warms you probably eight times because warms you cutting it down then you gotta haul it that's twice then you gotta split it and stack it that's three tw that's three times move it to the woodshed if it's not in the woodshed that's four haul it into the house that's five in the wood stove that's six so well six times but it feels like eight yeah so I'll set up the cameras here and finish this log and then we're gonna measure obviously I don't have measuring tape that long so I'm just gonna count all the 18s that I cut 18 inch lengths and add them up So let's take a walk and see what we got. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and then maybe about eight more feet. So put in our super awesome calculator here. 18 times 35. No, 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 no. Yeah, 18 times 35 divided by 12. So we got 52 and a half feet, maybe eight more feet. So 60 plus three foot base. So maybe 63 feet. So I was off. <laughs> 63 foot popple. Still pretty big. Well, it just started to rain. So I'm gonna wrap this project up. I'll put some dunnage down and pile these logs up. So they're off the ground and they're drying through the summer then I'll let my hired help the young bucks the older teenagers and the younger 20 somethings my work crew haul this for me and then I can just keep cutting trees and cutting firewood and they haul it they're a lot younger and more flexible than I am I'm running about 5,000 dogs a year so bending over all the time with the dogs is hard on my lower back and I have to stretch it a lot to keep flexible so it doesn't give out give out this winter but yeah so if you like the video please hit that subscribe button 
hit the little bell so that you get notifications when we put up new videos and check out my other channel timber industry videos i'll be adding to that channel this summer when i go out and play with the loggers so have a good one stay safe and don't cut down any trees that you don't feel comfortable with talk to you later